In this video, I'm gonna show you how to clean your washing machine. This is gonna clean, deodorize, and eliminate all those bad musty smells coming from the inside. Come get a whiff. I'm also gonna show you how to clean this rubber gasket right here, which is what houses all that odor-causing black mold. That right there is gonna cause your washing machine and your clothes to smell horrible. Here's what you need to get the job done. Baking soda, distilled white vinegar, some kind of little brush, in this case, this is a cleaning toothbrush, and a couple of cleaning cloths. So I've got a microfiber cloth here, I've got a regular cloth, you can use both. Step number one is you wanna take two cups, two cups of baking soda, pour those two cups inside the drum and run the washer on its longest and hottest cycle. The hottest cycle for your washing machine is gonna be the tub clean cycle. I repeat, the tub clean clean cycle. That is your hottest cycle on your washing machine. If you don't have a tub clean mode, then just set it to the normal mode and adjust your settings manually from that point. So what's up with the baking soda? What's so special about this stuff? Why are we putting two cups in the drum? Well, it's very simple. This serves as a mild abrasive. It's going to clean and deodorize the inside. After the cycle of the baking soda is finished, set that off to the side. We won't need that anymore. Now what we're going to do is run a cycle with distilled white vinegar. You say, why? Why, Tommy? Why are we putting vinegar in the washing machine? Well, it's real simple. This has bacteria-killing properties, right? It's going to sanitize the inside. So what it's going to do is cut that odor off at its source. It's going to go in there, and it's going to kill those microbes of menace. Now for the how-to. You see your tray right there? Open that up. Now fill up all these slots right here. You see where it says liquid bleach only? Pre-wash, main wash, liquid detergent. So fill this with vinegar. Fill your pre-wash with vinegar and fill your bleach only with vinegar. From that point, close it up and once again run it on its longest and hottest cycle, which would be your tub clean mode. And once again, if you don't have tub clean, just stick it on normal right there. And come over here and adjust your settings manually. Just make sure that under temperature right here, you go extra hot. Now for the gasket. Now we need to go ahead and get that cleaned up. To clean that, you can use your little cleaning toothbrush or just get your little washcloth. Maybe put a little bit of dish soap in it, make it damp, and just get in here and rub. Anything you couldn't get with your hand with the cloth, that's where your toothbrush comes in. So use that toothbrush, that cleaning toothbrush, I should say, to get in those hard to reach areas. So back up underneath there if you need to get underneath that metal drum, right? Use that toothbrush. Don't be afraid. After you finish with all those steps, it's good to put some finishing touches on. So if you can, open up your big tray here, take out the smaller trays, and go to the sink and clean these with some dish soap and a brush or something. Get these sparkling clean like you would some dishes, and then put them back in you'll be good to go. You also want to clean the exterior of the machine. How do you do that? Real simple. Get your microfiber cloth, dampen it. You can just use water, like a, some warm water in your microfiber cloth, and you can go around and you can just start wiping off the exterior of the machine. Now, if it's really, really gunky, get you an all-purpose cleaner, right? Spray your all-purpose cleaner on here, and then take your cloth and start wiping down. Just another way to do it, right? You gotta improvise sometime. If it's really, really gunky, sometimes you have to use the chemicals. Another tip, and hopefully most of y'all know this, but after you finish washing your clothes in your washing machine, make sure to always leave this door open and let that moisture escape, because if it's closed, moisture will be trapped inside, and that's when you get your mold up in your gasket and all that stuff that smells that you don't want. And that right there, my friends, is how to clean your washing machine.